Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Wednesday's partly frosty, mostly foggy start was just the in between before the next round of rain, which the National Weather Service says could be double the half inch of rain that we got on Tuesday. Your four day outlook is coming right up. As Democrats in the United States Senate and in the White House regroup on the health care reform bill and strategy in general, following Tuesday's Republican win for the open U.S. Senate seat in Massachusetts and the loss of the filibuster-proof majority in the Senate, Review Journal political writer Laura Myers reports in print and online Thursday that the GOP in Nevada is pouncing on Scott Brown's victory in the Bay State. Myers quotes the head of the Nevada Republican Party as saying Republican wins of governor's seats in New Jersey and Virginia, along with the Massachusetts U.S. Senate win, will pale in comparison to what he says is going to happen to Harry Reid. You want to read all about that. And speaking of the GOP and the Reid race, the Review Journal has the fundraising numbers for one of the Republicans running for the nomination to oppose Reid in November. The RJ's Ben Spillman reports Thursday that Danny Tarkanian has raised close to $650,000 so far. Get a breakdown on the figures as well as reports on the other candidates in print and online, the editions of the Review Journal. Las Vegas Metro Police are looking for these two people, as well as two others, in connection with what they describe as a kidnapping from this past weekend along the Las Vegas Strip. Thursday's editions of the RJ have more on the incident in which police say a man was walking on one of the pedestrian overpasses at Las Vegas Boulevard in Flamingo early Saturday morning when he was forced at gunpoint into a car. The surveillance video reportedly shows the suspects entering the man's hotel room. The video is on the RJ Multimedia pages. We also have video of a Nevada soldier after he got a New Year's Day battlefield promotion during his deployment in Afghanistan. I feel that at my E4, even though I've been as long as I have, I know my job proficiently. I'm ready to make that next step. I'm confident in my next step. And to me personally, it was well deserved. Check Thursdays, printed online RJ, where military writer Keith Rogers has more on David Ellis. He's one of 700 Nevada National Guard soldiers from the 1st Squadron, 221st Cavalry, providing security for reconstruction teams and conducting counterinsurgency ops in Afghanistan. Sports? Well, it's not just the Review Journal sports team covering the Run and Rebel basketball team's Wednesday night road game against the Colorado State Rams in Fort Collins. Of course, you can count on in-game, online score updates, complete post-game report, and Thursday's printed online, RJ. But please don't forget our sister website, rebelnation.net, looks at all UNLV athletics. Heading toward the weekend, got a sneak peek at the cover of the RJ's Neon Thursday section, where you're going to get a behind-the-scenes look at the oldest surviving show on the Strip, Jubilee, including a link to an online photo slideshow. For family fun, the Neon Thursday cover has a look at Disney on ice. And inside Neon Thursday, mediaology columnist Steve Bornfeld noticed a local TV station putting what he called a melodramatic twist on a news story last week. His thoughts and comments in mediaology. Now your weather with the potential of an inch of rain in the Las Vegas Valley in one day. Drivers going to have to take into account the likelihood of at least isolated street flooding. It all depends on how much rain falls in any given period of time. And obviously, the more we get in a shorter period of time, the greater the risk of flooding. Don't expect to see the sun until Friday as the storm system begins to head east. National Weather Service forecast, though, calling for continuing chances for showers into Saturday before we get a partly cloudy Sunday. Now, even without a whole lot of temperature fluctuation, gusty winds and rain going to make it feel colder. Please be careful out there. And for breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot, ReviewJournal.com.